So let me tell you about the role of a, of a radiation oncologist. Um, what we typically do is we'll meet the patient for the first time. Uh, we'll spend generally somewhere between maybe an hour to maybe a few hours with the patient if we need to, to really make them understand exactly what it is that you know, we're trying to do uh, in, to decrease the risk of cancer coming back. Uh, first thing that usually happens is the surgeon will have seen the patient before. Uh, they'll have consulted the patient. They'll talk to them about their disease process. The patient will oftentimes at that point go on for surgery. After surgery may be one of the first times that we'll be meeting the patients uh, to talk to them about possible therapy. Um, occasionally, uh, if we're in a, in a multidisciplinary setting where, where we have both breast surgeons and radiation oncologists and medical oncologists, the, the doctors that typically give chemotherapy, all together in a breast uh, sort of multidisciplinary setting where we all get together, we may actually meet the patient before surgery. Um, so at that point, we can come together with a group uh, game plan on how to treat the patient in a coordinated fashion. Uh, depending on sort of the community setting that you're in, we'll be will determine when you meet your radiation oncologist. Uh, when I sit down with my patients, um, you know, I, I typically spend about an hour with most of my patients. They'll come in with their family member uh, or some support network, typically. Um, and uh, I'll just explain to them sort of what the role of radiation is uh, in the case of breast cancer is to decrease the risk of cancer coming back both in the breast and potentially in areas where breast cancer can spread like the armpit area or axilla or the area above the clavicle uh, called the supraclavicular region. Radiation is a, a treatment that is typically given through two different options. Uh, it's either given as an internal source of radiation, which we call brachytherapy, which is a, sometimes used a catheter-based technology. Uh, and that's a treatment that would be delivered just to the lumpectomy cavity. Or we use external beam radiation, which, is, which tends to be more common uh, and that is to an area of the entire breast, uh, maybe the lymph node regions, or in some cases just to the area of lumpectomy cavity alone. Uh, the radiation is typically given when ex given externally. It's given as a daily treatment, usually Monday through Friday, five days per week. Uh, there are different regimens that we can use from one week of treatment up to six and a half or seven weeks of treatment. Uh, depending on the, the technology and sort of the rationale for why we might be using radiation treatment. Um, we will then talk to the patients about, um, or I usually talk to the patients quite a bit about potential side effects of treatment uh, and uh, what to expect during the radiation treatment course. Um, and uh, answer all of their questions, allay a lot of their fears and concerns uh, potentially for radiation. It's a scary time for most patients having you know, an initial diagnosis of cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.